Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial in Fusion 360. Here I will make the, the mini copper modelled with Fusion. I'm using the, the patch mode. It's too easy to edit any feature in this uh, mode. Okay. Uh, sorry uh, because I told you I will make uh, an episode in the last uh, last week but I can't do that because I'm so busy uh, but I try to to make one episode every week okay the the goal here is to make um, the surfaces around the headlight okay then we will make uh, the dumper okay I don't know if you can hear me because I changed my microphone uh, please tell me in the comment if you are hear me and um, <clears throat> uh, you can find me on Instagram. I open new account in Instagram. You can join me there and ask me any question that I can respond to. And if you have any suggestion or tutorial or an idea to make it with fusion please let me know in the comment okay i did another um, another car the bmw z4 you can find it on my channel and you can download the 3d model on my website let's uh, let's jump to the tutorial here once you finish the 3d um, sketching just select all of these um, edges and make it patch okay you can just change this interference or this contact between the last surface okay Save your file and go ahead and start another surface just, just behind this one. Okay, let's start a new sketch. Select the, um, the front plan, but it's not a problem. Just make sure that the 3D sketch is selected and use the 3d cube to move it around use the m key to move these points as you can see here you can make this one tangent then the other trip here you can't add the tangent when you are in the front on the right view you have to be in the isometric view or in the 3d view okay I will make um, a special tutorial uh, to make um, a blueprint with uh, Photoshop or Illustrator and put it on on Fusion 360 that's because um, um, one friend uh, told me to if I can do that for him because he wants to to make um, a 3d car I think the BMW and he has a difficulty to 
to cut the blueprint. I think this one is okay. Let's add another spline between these points. Um, what I have to do here is just bend it just a little bit to make the surface as you can see just bend like this one okay I think from here is okay now add another spline on the on the reference one because we did the reference on the first on the, on the first one okay make sure that all point is okay once you finish this one you can use the um, hide all and use the patch feature to make this surface as you can see here okay that's a good one now let's go ahead and add another surface just start with the right um, the right view or the right plan okay and make one spline here as you can see you can use controller just to bend it like a little bit like this one okay then I will use this one to to match with these points okay You have just to make this one horizontal. I will try to make this one tangent. You can use this controller to, to adjust it just a little bit. See it from the left. It's okay. Now let's add another another spline okay as you can see here okay as you can see you have um, okay This one, I will remove it because the, the problem here when you activate the 3D sketch, you have not the the 2D spline on the the plan. The best way here is to check off this button and make the 2d sketch now you can link it using this point sorry and just make it in the other sense here okay the same thing here okay when you do that then when you when you make this one horizontal just you have the same problem that I suggest you to fix this one using fix here then make the other spline as you can see horizontal and you are free if you want to to leave this one as you can see
ok? Yeah, the problem here, you have to to unfix it, to move it, as you can see, okay? See it from the left, all thing is all right here. If you have a difficulty, please let me know and leave it on the comment. It's just step by step to do it. Okay. When you look from the top, this one is okay. You can activate the handles like this one and move it just a little bit like this one. Sorry, is my chair. It's not a good chair, I have this. Verify off all thing is okay. Now you have only to add another spline here to close the profile or the 3D profile. Now we can use all of these edges to make a 3D surface, but using the patch feature. For me, I had all the canvas and use all these edges to make. Don't worry when you see that because it's we can revert the the normal of the surface okay but it's not a problem make sure that you you make it as you can see here okay you can try to make a symmetry select all the the bodies and make a symmetry but we will do the, that after Here we will add another surface here in the middle of the car. As you can see, I will start with the left one and check off the 3D sketch. Okay, as you can see here, but I think I will start with this one. It's it's. Um, it's good to link it to the last one. Okay. As you can see, that's the first spline I did. But make sure that it's um, linked correctly to the to the first to the first surface. Okay. As you can see here, once you finish this one, look from the top. Okay, now let's add another spline. Let's move the view just like this one and look for the this edge okay it's not a problem just leave it anywhere as you want because we can move it after but using the m key once you put it here just move it
use the 3D cube to to look from the 3D um, sides, but you can activate the four for view if you want. Just we like we did it in the last episode, then to see it on the, the, the four um, or three three D view in same times. Okay. Here, as you can see, I'm using the. Um, sorry, I'm using the um, the handles or the controllers to control the spline on the 3D view. Okay. Once you finish, I will add another spline between this one, as you can see. I will fix this one because I don't want to make to move it when I make this one horizontal. All thing is all right. Here, okay, as you can see, you can just move it a little bit like this one. Please, if you are new in my channel, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram to have new episode and continue working on this car. If you have any question, don't hesitate to post it in the comment that Help me to make other tutorial and try it. Once you finish all sketching. That's the 3D sketch you did. Okay. Then right now we used the patch feature, but now if you have only four edges, you can use the left feature as you can see here. It's too easy to use it. Okay. People, I will tell you see you in the next episode subscribe and share make a thumbs up if you like it and see you next week